Hello everybody, Pastor Ron. I want to talk to you today about a couple of uh, really interesting pens that I got from um, a pen maker from upstate New York, Mr. Greg Hardy, Hardy Pen Rights. But before we get into looking at these two pens, I'm going to look at them together um, because they I got them at the same time. They came in the same package beautiful pens. I think I've shown them before. But before we get there, uh, I want to read a portion of scripture. And it's out of the New Century Version. Um, a lot of people, I think, uh, know one of the most important portions of scripture in the Bible. Uh, and many people call it the Lord's Prayer. Now, it's found in Matthew chapter 6. Personally, I don't call that the Lord's Prayer. I call it a model prayer. But let's read it again out of the New Century Version. We're in Matthew chapter 6. I want to begin reading in verse 9. And here's what it has to say. So when you pray, you should pray like this. This is Jesus talking to the disciples. Because they had asked him, Would you teach us to pray like you pray? We see that your prayers are so effective, so teach us so we'll know. And this is what Jesus said. So when you pray, you should pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name always be kept holy. May your kingdom come and what you want be done, here on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the food we need for each day. Forgive us our sins, just as we have forgiven those who sinned against us. And do not cause us to be tempted, but save us from the evil one. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours forever. Amen. What an amazing prayer. What a beautiful prayer that is. I think we'd be in better shape if everybody prayed like that. In other words, this is what Jesus was saying. I'm going to give you a model prayer. You model your prayer after that prayer. And uh, you'll be successful. If you'll give your lives to Jesus Christ, if you'll give yourself to him, if you'll pray like he prayed, I think you'll have a lot more success. Now, I want to look at these pens from... Greg Hardy. These are two of my favorite pens, and they're both made from diamond cast material from McKinsey Pens Work, Pen Works. Um, I think I'll show you the Red Dragon first. You see it? Look at that clip. Now, I want to tell you that in just a little bit, I'll be giving you a writing sample of both of these pens. But what an amazing clip that is. I'm going to show you the material. Man, if that's not a pretty pen, I don't know what is. It is just gorgeous. And the nib, it's just, now, there's nothing real special about the nib. It's just a standard uh, Yowo number six nib. This one happens to be fine. I believe. Um, beautiful nib, beautiful coloration. Um, you can see the diamond dust in there. It's just a beautiful pen. Red Dragon, that's the, the name of that one. Now here's the pen I really, really like um, because um, Greg Hardy and I worked on this pen design of the clip especially and the, um, the finial medallion um, but it's purple, 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 purple. Ecto purple is the material. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And that clip is just amazing. It's a fountain pen. And see the material there? A little brass action or bronze. I can't remember which one it is. But here is the finial medallion. It is the Church of God logo. 
I am a pastor, a bishop in the Church of God from Cleveland, Tennessee, uh, although pastoring here in Central Florida. Um, and again, it is a standard YOLO number six nib. I think this one's a medium, medium nib. But let me um, show you these pens. I'll, I'll give you a little writing sample of both of them um, and tell you which ink is in both of the pens. See you in a minute. Hey, I'm back and all set up so that you can take a better look at the pen and, and a writing sample. Uh, we'll start out with the Red Dragon. Um, Again, this is such a beautiful pen. I don't know, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, see all the, the pretty diamond. And, and that clip is just amazing to me. So let's take a look at how well this writes. Um, I've got uh, Robert Oster signature muddy dragon ink in this pen and let's take a look Okay, this one writes so nicely. Um, again, uh, the nib is, let's see if I can get, well, it's not going to autofocus. Well, so we'll just come down here. Anyway, beautiful pen, lovely pen. Now, let's take a look at the other pen. I call this my Ecto Purple Church of God Special Edition Greg Hardy Penwright's Fountain Pen. Now, can you imagine writing that on a card describing this pen? The purple and, and black and the diamonds I don't know. This is one of my favorite pens. And this nib, let me get my little helper here. This is a medium nib. Um, again, these Yowo nibs are just absolutely wonderful writers. Um, <laughs> how are we? <laughs> Just like butter. Uh, this is one of my favorite pens. Um, and I'll have this one for a long, long time to come. Again, here they are, side by side. Beautiful, gorgeous pens. Um, I think uh, my friend Michael Whitesides and I like the same kind of pens. We like railroad spikes with nibs attached. Um, these are 14 millimeter uh, sections here or caps I should say threads um, if you're gonna have a pen have a pen I want something that's a little beefy 
Uh, Greg did such an amazing job with this, with both of these pins. Uh, the the colors uh, of the diamond cast material are stunning in my opinion. But anyway, that's my pins. That's how they look. Um, if you don't have any pins by Mr. Greg Hardy, you might want to give him a shot. Give him a, a shout and see what he can do for you. He made both of these clips. He hammered them out and designed them and all of that. <clears throat> he just did an excellent job. Okay, until next time, Pastor Ron, see you. Oh, before I go, almost forgot. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, make a comment. What do you think of these pens? Um, comment whether or not you have any pens by Greg Hardy or Hardy Pen Writes. He's got um, some help in there. Son, I, I don't know if it's a son or two sons working with him, but I promise you, you're going to enjoy whatever pen he makes for you. Anyway, hit the subscribe. Uh, leave a comment, please. Hit that bell notification, and we'll see you next time. Bye.